As I said before, the music's nice. The game has the first good airship theme. And a beautifully fitting shop theme. tracks aren't even included. In the game, the music is unbearably repetitive. The main theme, the town theme, the dungeon theme, and the battle theme. Over and over. You know, the music is half the experience of the game. It's all you hear. You have to have some variety in that. And for all the good music that exists in this game, there's one fatal flaw. The battle theme is not that good. song you'll be listening to for 80% of the game. That's a serious problem. I will very, very rarely critique Uematsu in the series, but it has to be said. His early battle themes aren't so good. I mean, they're hit and miss. I mean, later on he developed this talent of making these battle themes from tunes and instruments that you wouldn't even expect to work, but they do. But this is still his 80s phase. And his battle themes are hit and miss. Listen to Hanjuku Hero. Here's another annoyance. If there are a lot of enemies, you can only select the first two rows of them. But in the meantime, all the other enemies can still hit you. As long as there's one enemy in those first two rows, you have to kill them all before you can hit any of the other guys. And remember, you can't do what you can do in later FF games with the ATV. You know, tail one character to do something and just wait a bit for the monster to die before you tell the other guys to fight. No, no, you have to tell all the characters to hit the guy. You know this monster's gonna die after one hit, but you gotta wait through four. And because of the ineffective bullshit, you end up wasting turn after turn while the enemies just smash you. Look at this. I'm in a battle. I need a potion. I have plenty of them, but I can't use them. Why? Because I didn't equip them. You have to equip one or two items to each character before you can use it. Here's the obvious flaw with this. Say the character with the potion in Phoenix Down I desperately need is dead. I'm fucked. And I gotta waste my time equipping items? Come on. The menus are so damn cumbersome. Anytime you do anything, it sends you straight back to the start, so you gotta do the same thing over and over again. The first Final Fantasy didn't have this problem. I'm six minutes in, people! I can't enjoy this world map with this nice theme and random shits flying around because I'm playing an unwinnable game. As much as this sucks, the only way to win this game is to level up. And you know, I didn't mention the level grind of Final Fantasy 1, even though that was just tedious, but this game has the real level grind. To enjoy this game, I'd actually suggest cheating, but the game genie codes are abysmal. Most of them freeze the game, and all of them are really crappy codes. None of them is really going to help you out. Hey drivers, can I cheat? No. Damn. When you play this game, all you're left with is the story. And let's see how shitty that is. The game starts with four kids from Finn running away from Kalamakian troops. Three of them are rescued by the rebels in Altair. Princess Hilda is their leader, and of course you want to help them. But first we gotta find our friend. By the way, that's the last thing you do in this game. Hilda tells Maria that our missing brother might still be in Finn, so we should go there. But the evil empire took Finn over, as well as the kingdom of Cassian, in their attempt to take over the world. Why are they taking over the world? Who cares? Gordon, you son of a bitch worthless mother sorry, the surviving prince of Cassian, fled and resides with you in Altair. What sort of hero is this guy, when his words of encouragement are, if you do succeed in the war, remember me as a coward? What the fuck? So after hours of leveling up, you go to Finn, you arrive at Cornelia Castle, I, 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 mean, Phil, I mean Finn Castle, talk to this vampire, and what the fuck, he instantly kills me? And it's not a joke this time? Uh, 
glad I didn't save. Having fun? This game has so many problems, I don't know why it's revered as it is by, by the fans in Square. I'll give it a little credit. There's a real effort to surpass the first game, and one can appreciate that the company did not want a clone copy of the original. If Square had ever done that, there wouldn't be a Final Fantasy series. Some people like the challenge of this game. I say, if you want a difficult Final Fantasy game, play a good one like Final Fantasy IV. Ah, uh, Final Fantasy IV. You know, if I just think about Final Fantasy IV during this, maybe it'll be alright. Hell, I should be playing Final Fantasy IV instead of this shit. In America, everyone knew it as Final Fantasy II anyway. Let's just think about it for a little while. Ugh! Start the game again! Level up AGAIN! You know, this is crazy. You keep missing and missing because your accuracy stat is so low. And when you finally do hit, you get the ineffective bullshit. Thankfully, I played Final Fantasy 1, so I'm used to it by now. But you see, Final Fantasy 1 was still like a Final Fantasy game, only it took forever to play. This game is a whole new experience, an interminable slog with no sign of progression and no assurance of success, and a backwards ass, utterly insane way of doing it. You can't help but get frustrated at by just learning how not to die, or make enough money just to buy one magic spell. But it's not like you can't do it. After four hours or so, it's possible, but, but god damn! Every Final Fantasy game that the majority is used to, you know, 7, 9, 10, none of this bullshit happens. It's smooth, easy to use, and repetitive to be sure, but it's also easy. The challenge comes from actually fighting the battles, not figuring out how the hell you can level up, but at least it's faster than last time. Final Fantasy 2 has another first, the first woman character in Final Fantasy, and can't you tell, wearing what is quite possibly the most scantily clad armor ever, and you thought Tifa was sexualized, jeez. In Finn, you can't enter the castle, so go to the town and speak to the rebels while ignoring these uh, in Imperial vampires. I don't, I don't know. And this guy will give you an engagement ring. This ring gives you access to the world map by holding B and then pressing select. So a ring gives you access to a map. Well, it's better than Final Fantasy 1's map. And it rotates. Very slowly. Okay. Anyway, give this guy the password Wild Rose and you'll get access to three potions. And good god do you need those potions. You meet the dying Prince Scott of Cassian, who tells you to give Gordon, his brother, the confidence to leave. He also describes how Finn was betrayed by General Borgen. As he does, he says his lover, Princess Hilda, should find someone else. And as he dies, he instantly disappears. Anyway, go back to Altair and try to avoid dying. Damn! Ugh, give the ring to Hilda. And she'll tell you that the rebel forces need Mithril from Joseph and Salomon. And you might be thinking, hey, this sounds exactly like Final Fantasy 1. Give that for this, give this for that. But you'd be wrong. You see, you keep the ring. Seriously though, there is a weak attempt to infuse some character into this, so that when you exchange items, it's not so superficial. The blandness of this game comes from passwords. Now this password system is unique to Final Fantasy 2. For a very good reason. People you talk to say these keywords that are marked in brackets. And when you give them these passwords or an item, they tell you other passwords. And you can use these passwords to unlock items, learn more things about the game, and advance the story. I mean, it's an interesting idea, but in reality it's just tedious. Sometimes you forget to find the password, and the game just stops dead. Really, this sort of thing should have just been automatic. In this game, the tedium comes from exchanging passwords and party members, not items. This completely ruins the epic story and makes the dialogue seem irrelevant. The most annoying thing about these passwords is that you can learn one from somebody, then say it back to them, and they won't know what the hell you're talking about. And most of the time, you can tell passwords to people that should know what the hell they are, but they don't know what the fuck you're saying. The only response you get is that goddamn question mark. More annoyingly, you have to tell these passwords to a lot of the NPCs just to get additional information. In later games, they knew that these extra steps to get additional information just make the game longer. By the way, the NPCs in this game are no better than last time. Half of them say the same thing over and over and the other half just responds with silence whenever you say a password. So learn the password Mithril for your quest to Salomon. Min joins you and gives you a canoe. Is this Final Fantasy 1 again? And right here is a wonderful example of why the password system is so stupid. To get this simple event to happen, you have to 1. Give Hilda the ring. 2. Memorize the Mithril password. 3. Say to Hilda the Mithril password. 4. Talk to Min and get the canoe from her. 4 steps. When in any other game it would have been 1. Talk to Hilda. Just think about this for a minute. This is how the conversation goes. Princess Hilda, Prince Scott has given me this ring. 
And then he died. Thank you, Virion. He died for our cause. Oh, if only we had Mithril, then we could save Finn. Joseph has Mithril. Someone should go to him in Salomon. Mithril. Virion, go to Salomon with Min! So go to Salomon then. Holy shit, Min kicks ass! Hope he sticks around.